This is DC Danton Crow Crusader. Um, I just, uh, after feeding the bird, decided to take a, a ride up in the, uh, what we call here the Hinterland in, in German. The uh, back area, the beginning of the agricultural area here outside of Kreuzlingen. Uh, this particular farm that you see um, raises uh, uh, a few uh, uh, calves every, uh, every year. Uh, five or six. Uh, you can see them in the background there, um, and they they only live uh, they only live one year, and then they slaughter them in, a, in the fall. So before before winter, these uh, these po poor little darlings will be um, will be slaughtered. Uh, this particular farm um, uh, has. Uh, does that every year and has been doing it since since I've been living here. Uh, the other farm to the uh, to the left uh, has tethered cows, beef cows as well. Uh, I, I I think probably these calves here that you see the other farm to the right. He probably those are leftover. Uh, uh, calves uh, probably sells them to the uh, to this neighbor there, but this particular farm came up here to check to see if the cows were out Sunday morning. By law, the cows are supposed to go out every fourth day. Uh, this particular farmer here, uh, um, by the name of Rudy Hauser, uh, actually uh, did not uh, obey the law. And it wasn't until I made uh, uh, filed charges against him years ago um, that I noticed that uh, when when uh, my husband and I uh, used to bicycle up here and take walks up here, and um, oh, we have a walker we have to go off to the side. Uh, someone on jogging here, uh, as you can see. These are agricultural fields here, uh, all around, um, and uh, down below, uh, the small hills in the background, that uh, and the tall uh, buildings. That's uh, that's Konstanz uh, in Germany. Uh, can't see the lake from here, uh, but uh, perhaps we'll get a position where we where we can, and that'll be a second video. Uh, Anyway, uh, this farm here to the, to the left, Rudy Hauser, uh, we used to walk up here and I saw the barn and I smelled cows and Brian <laughs> said, there are no cows up here. And I said, but I smell cows and I hear cows in the barn. He says, no, there's no cows up here. A anytime I've ever walked up here, there's, there's no cows. There are no cows here. And I said, yes, there are cows here. So um, I went uh, and uh, saw a crack in the door of the barn, and lo and behold, there were cars, uh, cows tethered, um, which is really, really cruel, because all they can do is, uh, is lay down and stand up, and that's it. And they're like that 24 hours a day. And, uh, and these cows were really, really heavy, uh, because they're, they're allowed no movement and their legs are bowed. It, it is extreme animal cruelty. Well, anyway, um, I filed charges and the veterinary bureau there in Fraunfeld came and investigated and yes, indeed, he has not been letting his cows out for who knows how many decades, <laughs> how long that's been going on. It is unbelievable. They have books that they submit uh, every year. There's an inspection done, as far as I understand, uh, as far as what I was told by, uh, by the Veterinary Bureau. And, um, and they come uh, every spring and do inspection, which is announced ahead of time. And they're supposed to be keeping a log of when the cows go out. So, of course, that was all falsified. And this is, this is normal. This is normal here in Switzerland. Uh, I don't know how many of these small farmers and most of the farmers here, farms here in Switzerland are small, 
they have anywhere from 50 to 150, 200 cows maximum. And uh, maybe there are some big uh, beef farmers, but most of them are small to medium size. And uh, around here, most of the farms uh, don't have any more than 50 to 100 cows uh, here in this region, in this area. And lo and behold, um, the cows started coming out. Uh, every fourth day, the cows came out. And uh, it was joyful to see that. In the, in the beginning, they had a little problem walking, but uh, then they were you know, doing better. But recently, I've been coming up here ever so often, not like I used to, because the birds and, and, um, and everything else has just been taking so much time. And since my husband got sick, it's, it takes a lot of my time. So um, I haven't been coming up here every week to check. Uh, come up here maybe once every few months. But normally, on a Sunday morning, cows are out. Now we can, I'm going to drive past the farm and I'm going to see whether or not the, um, the grass is, looks like it's been eaten. Uh, before he used to just cut all the pasture land, just cut it rather than let the cows out because too much trouble to uh, untether the cows and uh, lead them out a few meters across from the barn to the pasture. I guess that was too much trouble. But basically, it's about money. It's about profit. It's about fattening up the cows and getting more per kilo when you have them, when you have them slaughtered. That's what it's all about, YouTubers. It's always about profit, okay, when it comes to livestock and to many other things, but especially livestock. Um, so, very beautiful, very beautiful area. The trees there in the background is, uh, is uh, actually part of a, a, a nature preserve that goes way, way up here uh, across the, uh, there's a train in the background. Beyond it uh, is a, a nature preserve. Um, you can see the train going by, uh, probably on its way from Zurich. Uh, heading uh, toward uh, Constance and then beyond. So, okay, YouTubers, I just wanted you to to see this, uh, um, see some of these farms since I'm up here today, and it's a nice day. Uh, we're basically having Indian summer right now. Um, so, and uh, we have no sunflowers here planted here this year. But sometimes these fields have sunflowers, and it's just absolutely beautiful. So, um, yeah, you can see a few sunflowers coming up because usually this field here has sunflowers on it. Okay, YouTubers, I just wanted you to see the story. And, uh, you know, I guess I have a notorious reputation here uh, with the farmers for um, filing complaints and making them obey the law which is something you're not used to. Evidently, the local people who live here just don't care. They don't want to know. They just want to buy their uh, meat in the supermarket, and they really don't care. Okay, this is DC Danton Crow Crusader uh, over 